Hi everybody, this is Irina with a new popular verb for you guys. Today we'll learn the verb to write in Russian. It's pronounced like pisat, and first we'll look at the verb endings in present tense and after that at some sentences. Вы пишете, я пишу, ты пишешь, мы пишем, он пишет, она пишет, оно пишет, они пишут. Он пишет ей письмо. Он пишет ей письмо. Я пишу роман. Я пишу роман. Please note that we don't have present continuous in Russian. I mean, whether I say I write or I am writing, both phrases will have the same meaning in Russian language. We can add the word now, see час, that will help us to indicate the exact period of time we are talking about, okay? Now let's look at how the verb to write will change its endings in past tense. Я написал, я написала, ты Написал, ты написала, мы написали, он написал, она написала, оно написала, вы написали, они написали. Он написал очень интересную книгу. Он написал очень интересную книгу. Мы писали целый день. Мы писали целый день. In the first sentence, you saw the verb написал, he wrote. And in the previous lesson, I already gave you some information about the verb prefixes in Russian language. And here we can see the prefix на added to our verb писать. And the whole word will sound like написать. So we often use this verb in past and future tenses. Because when we use the verb писать in past tense, as you could see in the second sentence, we were writing the whole day, мы писали целый день, here we want to emphasize the duration of the action, not a final result. In Russian, all the verbs can be divided into two groups, the perfect verbs and the imperfect ones. So our verb писать is an imperfect verb while the verb not be said is perfect, okay? I think now you can understand the difference. So guys, now let's look at the next slide in which I try to explain all that I said before in a more easier way. Good. Now, in future tense, we can use the verb писать. In this case, we will have to add the verb to be, that will change its ending. Or we can use the verb not писать, that is used more often actually. And here, we will change only the ending of this verb without adding the verb to be. Okay? Let's look at the following slide. Я напишу. Ты Напишешь, мы напишем, вы напишете, он напишет, она 
напишет, оно напишет, они напишут. I want to be using the form with the verb to be because in my previous lessons I already showed you how it worked and we've also studied the verb to be, okay? So I think you won't have problems with that. And now let's look at our sentences. Вы напишите мне свой адрес. Вы напишите мне свой адрес. Ты Напишешь ему завтра. Ты напишешь ему завтра. Very good, guys. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. See you next time.